Hi, how's it going? I want to welcome you back to my channel. So today's video is about the Linksys Velop and how to get to the web interface. So the Linksys Velop is somewhat limited on how you can configure it. You can only use the app. So I don't know if you guys are power users or advanced users like me, where I like to really dig into it through a web interface. Unfortunately, there is no direct way to do that or nor is there an easy way to do that unless you check out this video. So this video, I will show you step by step on how to do that on the Lanxus Philip as of, there's, of the, as of this firmware version ending in 9155. On previous firmware versions, you would have to unplug the internet source and then do these steps. But I noticed on this version of the firmware 9155, you do not have to. List of ingredients, you'll need the Lanxus Philip and you need a laptop. So with the Lanxus Philip on, you need to go to this address like so. You can't really copy and paste from the video, so I'll put it in the link down below. And I'm sorry, in the description down below, so you can copy and paste a little bit easier. The first part of the address is your parents' node, not like your parents, the people that gave birth to you, but the links is Velop, the main one. You need to know that address. And then a few brackets after that. I'm sorry, I think a few slashes after that is the firmware version. So as of right now, it is 9155. So once you found your IP address, Go ahead and hit enter on the browser, and then you'll get this splash page where it tells you stop, use the app. Don't stop there. It's okay, we'll get through this. So essentially that's just a splash page saying, hey, ah, use the app, there's no other way. But what's weird is if you just take that URL that you just got, that got you there again, and you paste it again, you enter, and you enter it again, it'll take you to another page. It'll have your password that you set up when you initially bought the thing. Use that to log in, and then you get another splash page. But the splash page has a little more options on the bottom. If you look on the bottom right, it has a link that says CA. Click on it. So click on CA. After that, you get the whole thing. So that is the web interface in all its glory. So it's a whole lot easier to manage through the web app. Okay, so after that last login screen, you are in. You are in like <laughs> something that's in. Either way, <laughs> uh, I hope I was able to help you guys out. Please uh, hit subscribe if you like this video or if you want to see other future nerdy things like that from me. Anywho, have a good day or night, whatever. See ya, bye.